All righty. Well, Joyce says, Dear Pat, many years ago when I was a young mother, I bought a Ouija board. At the time, I didn't know any better. I thought it was just a fun game. When I learned that it is evil, I got rid of it. Now my son has grown and full of hatred and mental issues. I have been through so much heartache because of his mental condition. I've prayed and prayed for his healing, but no change so far. Do you think God is punishing me for exposing my son to demons when he was young? Uh, I don't know if God's punishing you, but you can't open the door to demons. And demons, you know, uh, there was one uh, lady I heard about who uh, was demon possessed and the demon was being cast out and the demon said I had permission mm -hmm. and permission was that this particular person had gone to a x-rated movie and uh, had you know gotten all of these sex things and and uh, the demon said I had permission uh, so you gave the demons permission to come into your home when you had a Ouija board uh, look Mental illness has many forms. I don't know what's wrong with your son. I mean, it may be neurological. It may be something psychological. Uh, he may need professional help, but at the same time, he may need to get delivered. And I, I don't know him, but there are all those things you need to take into consideration and then do, but he needs an intervention. Get something to help him. But right? it, even if she opened the door, she can repent, ask for forgiveness Absolutely. in the net. Absolutely. Close the door and, and the send door. the demon away. But mm -hmm. you have to come and say, hey, Lord, I, I repent. And that demon, you do not have permission anymore. I take away that permission and I cast you forth from my son. You need to speak those words. Because a demon is supernatural and obviously has way more powers than you do, but somehow if you just say the right words, they go, damn, you schooled me. I'm going to take my demon ass away now. Well done. I concede. It's a demon. It, you don't have the powers it has, but somehow if you make the right sounds with your mouth, it goes, oh, I concede. You got me. I love how they have these conversations in a very like serious tone. It's like, hmm, okay, demons, let's talk about this. So you say, what happened with your son again? I got to give you the right prescription, the right prayer here, and let's fix this. Dude, 2015, the year is 2015. This guy's on TV. This guy's on TV. We live in a world where we have the internet. I have, we have phones. I can call somebody in fucking Dusseldorf right now. I could be on phone, the phone with somebody in Dusseldorf in a minute. We have that kind of technology. We have vaccines. We've been to the fucking moon. But people still watch Pat Robertson. Oh, the demons. I'll say the demons. I'm going to help you with the demons. I'm such a powerful, strong preacher. I'm like 83 years old and I just shit myself, but I'm, I'm a strong man. Let me let me help you pray out the demons. You're a fucking con man, dude. That's what you are. You're a con man. Uh, he said, well, the, the Ouija board is demonic. Actually, she said that in the letter. The Ouija board is demonic that I bought years ago. Is that why my kid's a dick? No, chances are... You are the reason why your kid is a dick. You sound like a crazy person. I would be a dick too if I was your son. Because I'd be like, oh my god. Is this really my mother? This is the fucking... These are the people that I'm stuck with? This fucking idiot who just thinks a Ouija board affects my personality? Your parenting affected my personality, asshole! Ouija board. A Ouija board. A fucking Ouija board. I told you, he, Pat Robertson always talks about Dungeons and Dragons and Harry Potter and Jerry Falwell used to talk about the Teletubbies and how, that one's gay, stay away, the gay demon's inside of him. <laughs> this is what they believe, man. And this is what they talk about. The best part by far is when he said, oh, yeah, I'm talking a demon inside somebody. Sure you were. And uh, they said the X-rated demons got a hold of the person when they seen an X-rated movie. Pat, if uh, watching adult films means that demons have gotten inside of you, for fuck's sake, Gog and Magog are having a picnic in my intestines right now. No, if X-rated movies led to demon possession, all of us are demon possessed! You're demon possessed! I can see fucking Beelzebub popping out of your earlobe! If fucking X-rated movies lead to demon possession. Look at this, man. Again, 2015, we got people who are anti-porn. Who's anti-porn? You can't look at the titties and the butts on, on the screen and pleasure yourself, because that's wrong. Why is it wrong? Nobody's getting hurt. The, the, the porn actors are paid. It doesn't seem like a big deal. If Jesus says it's wrong, uh, he, don't, he don't like it if you have pleasure in your life. 
So that's what it comes down. So religion is anti-pleasure. <sighs> you guys argue anti-pleasure all day long. Us secular people will argue on the side of pleasure. Let's see who wins.